Hello guys, this is Yoni. As you can see from the title, today's video is something really special. Lovely people from Artex contacted me to send me a package with their new product for testing, which you now see on the video. This is an acrylic marker set of 60 colors in the B version, so let's see what we have inside. Here you can see a thank you card and two sticker sheets to label your markers. One sheet of stickers is for the top of the marker and the other sheet is probably for the side. The stickers on the top will allow us to choose the color we are interested in when the markers are in the box and on the side when they are lying somewhere next to a sheet of paper and we use them while painting. When I'm in the middle of painting, I don't put things back in the box and don't take them out each time. I wonder why the marker labels aren't simply printed already on the markers, to be honest. When I first thought about using these larger stickers, I thought they could be perfect for marking the actual color swatches. In the end, I decided to stick them on markers as other people do. It would be really interesting to have this type of sticker, but so that we can cover them with color ourselves. Then we would be able to see the actual color, it would be a really nice addition. What do you think? It took me a long time to stick all those labels on, but to tell you the truth, I was very involved in the process. I was able to slowly enjoy the product and leave the best part, the painting, for last. The packaging of the markers looks beautiful and, above all, is very functional. Each marker has a slot to keep it upright. The packaging keeps everything tidy. I think this is a very well thought out solution, as the markers are arranged with the nib pointing downwards. I think this is so that the ink in the marker flows into the nib and there is no problem with interruption when painting. The packaging looks so beautiful and I think these markers would make a great gift for someone. It wouldn't even need any extra decorations, it looks so pretty, yay! <laughs> I took my sketchbook, which I most frequently reach for, and started making swatches. Listen, it was a love at first to use these markers, literally, but more on that later. I would like to share with you something extra I received from the lovely people at Artex. Along with the acrylic marker set, they also gave me a sketchbook. I won't be using it in this video, but I would love to show it to you because it's so unique and I'm really excited to try it out for myself. Firstly, it's a beautiful hardcover book in a stunning green with tiny sparkly flecks. And it's got a lovely embossing with the Artex logo, a bunny and a girl character, which is really cute. Opening the sketchbook, you will find a notification stating that the exposed binding has a special design for easily laying flat during painting. To me, this is the most important feature when it comes to choosing a sketchbook. It must lie flat or be a spiral sketchbook. Otherwise, I find it too difficult to draw in a sketchbook that folds itself. It also makes it difficult to record the drawing process. On the inside, you will also find an inner storage pocket. I often take extra sheets of paper with me to make swatches or spread pens, so this is always a great addition. This is a mixed media sketchbook with thick sheets of paper. This means that it can be used for a wide range of techniques, from dry techniques such as colored pencils to wet techniques such as markers. As far as I can see, the sheets in the sketchbook are glued together, so there should be no problem tearing out single sheets. It's very nice of Artex to send me this sketchbook as well, I will definitely use it often, thank you so much. And oh my goodness, you wouldn't believe how I felt when I got that email from Artex. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
I had to read the email a few times to make sure it was real. When I finally got it, I was overjoyed. I watched lots of other art YouTubers testing out the brand's products and I was completely smitten. I was so excited when I heard they wanted to work with me. I was blown away when I heard that such a fantastic art supplies brand was interested in working with a small artist like me who only launched her YouTube channel a while ago. I was over the moon when they offered me such an amazing set of acrylic markers to try out, especially as I'm such a fan of acrylic and gouache techniques. I think I'm most associated with these painting techniques, which I absolutely love. And there's more. I could choose which set of acrylic markers I wanted to test. I just knew right away that the B version in anime colors would be perfect for me. At first glance, the colors look really pretty and they actually are. If I'm right, set A has a lovely selection of neon colors and some gorgeous metallic markers. As soon as I finished the color swatch, I just knew that these gorgeous colors from set B would fit in perfectly with my style. They are all so different, but they work so well together. It's such a joy to blend these colors together. As soon as I saw their acrylic markers on one of art youtubers channel videos, I wanted to test them out. I knew I would buy them sooner or later, but I never expected Artex to send them to me as a gift so I could try them out and share my impressions with you. I have to admit working with an art brand like this has always been a dream of mine. I never thought it could actually happen, but here we are! Oh, say hi to my lovely companion! This little guy is always there for me and I love him for it. He's like my little shadow, never leaving my side. He's always there for me and I'm so grateful for that. He's always there to keep me company and that makes me feel so much less lonely. What's more, my work goes much more smoothly when he's around. Well. If he just wants to be pet or if he's hungry, then he's not very keen on me doing anything. But he's a sweetheart, really. I have to mention that we have been having a bit of a problem with him lately. He's never reacted badly to strangers coming to visit us. He was a rather untouchable cat, but still a sociable one who was happy to be so close to us all in the same room. Sometimes he would come up and let himself be petted, sometimes he would meow a little and talk in his cat language to others. At some point he stopped tolerating any other people, even those he had already seen and had the opportunity to meet. He doesn't want to approach anyone, he is afraid to be in the same room with strangers and he starts making squeaks as if they were skinning him or even barking like a dog. I try to keep an eye on him and I am always here for him if he needs me. It's so lovely to see how most visitors are so gentle with him. They don't approach him and wait for the cat to come to them and yet he behaves in such a strange and mysterious way to me. I'm really worried that someone has done something to him when I am not around. He always has the option of hiding somewhere, but I wonder what the reason is and how I can help him. Maybe not letting anyone in the house? <laughs> there is a solution, right? Okay, but let's get back to the markers. The markers are supplied with a super thin adjustable foam tip, which means that the level of precision that can be achieved is impressive. I have had the opportunity to test other acrylic markers such as Posca, which have a very clumsy, hard and huge nib. 
The comfort of painting with Posca markers isn't the best and it's hard to get a precise line with them. Under pressure, they peel off the paper a lot. Also, their price is huge in relation to the quality. The wonderful people from Artex have come up with a brush tip for their markers that makes it possible for us to produce lines of different thicknesses. The tip is soft like a sponge, so it's nice and easy to paint without damaging the paper. The markers glide so smoothly across the paper and it's so easy to color the surface. The first thing I noticed is that these markers are so much more convenient to use than tube paints. The effect is the same, but the process is much quicker and more fun. At first, I expected the markers to be much bigger, something like the Posca markers or even bigger like the Chameleon pens. I was very pleased to see the actual size of the Artex markers because they are much easier to hold and they are much lighter. They are also easier to carry around and store. What's more, the markers look very tidy. The colors are very opaque. I wouldn't say 100% because it would be difficult for such an opaque pigment to work as a marker while Till One provides perfect and sufficient coverage. For many of the colors, one coat is enough, while for a few, two coats are needed for full coverage. These colors are especially white, but also, for example, the dark color I used for the dress. I only noticed the difference in color after a while, when I had to apply another coat to cover what I had painted. Some of the markers are simply more watery, but this doesn't interfere with use at all. What makes these markers so great is that you can paint with them wherever you like. You can use them on paper, fabric, glass, metal, plastic and many other surfaces I haven't tested yet. This means that the creativity sky is the limit. I am definitely going to want to try them out to see how they work on wood because, as you know, I love to paint on a surface like that. I think paper is the most difficult medium to use acrylic markers on. Paper is generally a porous surface, so acrylic mediums dries immediately and blending is almost impossible, but I think I have found a solution. I decided to try something new and pour some water in a cup to see if I could use these markers like paints. When the pigment wasn't quite dry yet, I tried blending the markers with a wet brush. At first, as with my beginnings with gouache, it was a bit tricky for me to get a feel for the amount of water I needed to use, but after a while, I think I managed to work out the right amount. Give it a try. If, like me, you prefer a smooth shading style than cell shading, this method might make painting easier for you. When it comes to light fastness, acrylic markers are the clear winners, no matter what kind of marker we are talking about. They are also water resistant when they are completely dry. What else surprised me in a positive way? These paint markers flow without flooding or jamming. This makes painting with them a pure delight. These pens are really easy to use. There is no need to shake and press for tips while using them. Just open the cup and you are ready to go. Above all, the markers are just so much fun to use and experimenting with them really brings out our creative side. I'm absolutely certain that I will never have any trouble finding an excuse to use the markers from Artex and I will definitely keep them dust free on my shelf. I can already say that I am excited to be creating a new reel with new artwork patent with these markers, so look forward to that. I just had a quick peek at the shop website and noticed something I hadn't seen before. 
There's a little note about keeping the markers horizontal when not in use. So I guess I was wrong to say that at the start. I'm so glad I noticed that. <laughs> Let's have a look at the price of these markers because I'm really surprised by it. Usually acrylic marker prices are quite high but Artex makes it easy on your wallet. For just around $50 you can get all 60 colors of these markers. I am amazed at how much quality you get for such a low price. I absolutely love the Artex acrylic markers they are simply the best in every way. I know it may sound a bit strange, but I am really thrilled with this product. I've never been this excited about a product before. I just wanted to let you know that I've got a special discount code just for you. You will find it in the description of the video. In the video description, you will also find links to buy markers from Artex, including Amazon or AliExpress. The character I am painting in today's video is my new OC and her design was created some time ago. I wanted to design a character that I could turn into a VTuber model one day just for fun. I also wanted the character to be associated with me so there's a lot of pink color plus it's related to the music industry in South Korea. In simple terms, she is a K-pop idol. Maybe I am not a K-pop idol, but we can dream, right? Right? I am still not sure how to call her, so I would love to hear your ideas. Please share them in the comments below this video. I want to say thank you again for Artex for this gift. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye!